So in the previous video, I showed you how you could submit a form using Laravel Livewire. But the form didn't have any validation on it, and it just assumed that it worked. So in this video, let's add some validation to this component. So over in our user form component, and you can apply this to any of your Laravel Livewire components where you need validation. You don't have to follow along with the series. You can just follow along with the same technique. But the way Livewire does this is it has validation rules that are on a per component basis. So we can put rules in here for this user form and they only apply within this user form. So to do this, we just need to create a new protected property with an array of the rules. So inside of our component here, I'm just going to create a protected property of rules and this is going to be equal to an array. And inside of this array, is where we store our validation rules. So let's do name first. And I'm going to say the name is required. That's nice and simple. And then let's do the email field. I'm going to say the email is also required. Let's say then we want to validate that it's an email. And we just close that off with a semicolon. And now we've got that, we can simply call this validate. Down in our submit method here, this is what we are submitting when the user clicks submit on the form. So in here, we can just call now this validate. Now this will run the validation against these rules here. And if they don't pass, it won't reach past this part. So this code won't run. So this part of the code will only run if the validation passes. The final thing we want to do is show out to the user if there's any errors. So we can jump into the standard error bag that you would do in a normal Laravel form and just display out the errors. So back over in our user form component, just below the input here, we can say at error. And if there's an error or name, we can just end this error for now. And then inside of here, we can just display out the error. So I'm just going to paste some styling in here. And this is just some tailwind styling. Give the error a nice look. It's got a little icon in it. And then simply we are echoing out the message that's coming back from the error. So we can just copy this down now for the email also. So we'll just paste this in here. And instead of checking for error on name, we'll check for error on email. And again, we can just display out the message. Let's check this out in the browser. I'm just going to give a refresh on this page now. I'm just going to fill out the form, but I'm going to leave the email blank. Now let's try and save on this. And you can see there now, without any kind of page refresh, this request was sent off our Laravel Livewire component. It checked against them validation rules, and it found that the email field was required which is what we put in our protected property. And then it showed the error message back to the user. And it's done all this without a page refresh. So let's try this again now and put an email address in. I'm putting an email address in here and this all should pass our validation rules. So we should see our suite alert when we hit the save button. And there you go, you can see the user has been created. So the application has passed those validation rules and the create method has run. And then the suite alert code has been triggered. So that's how simple it is to add validation into your Laravel Livewire component. In the next video, let's look at using real-time validation. So this will display the errors back to the user as they type them in for the input. So they don't have to hit submit before they realize there's an error. It'll just tell them straight away. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. So you receive notifications as and when I update this series. Also, check out the other playlists on the channel. They have a lot of in-depth full Laravel courses covering various other topics across the Laravel ecosystem.